I'm Jewish. So, <laughs> what I meant to say is, I have a rather large nose. Here's a human-sized pencil for comparison. And that means that cleaning my wind pipes uh, is relatively easy for me. I have a lot of access, but not everybody is very fortunate in this regard. So I'm Uri Tuckman <laughs> is here for the here for, uh, to the rescue. So let's go over the fundamentals of nose picking. It's going to be very quick. There's going to be amazing animations. So, so stick around. The first thing we need is a finger and I'm going to use three parts even though it has four edges for whatever. The second thing is the finger needs to go up and down and we can achieve that with a nice delicious off-centered wheel or a cam if you will. Also it needs to articulate so we add a string and but wham bam this uh, finger t -t thing is articulating. The third thing is the most complicated where we need to make the finger go left and right. We don't need to make that, but I want to, so that's what we're gonna do by adding another cam. Those two cams are opposite to each other, which will make it resonate back and forth. Hopefully that makes sense. You'll see in, uh, in the rest of the video, I suppose. We are going to start straight from the heart. Actually, the finger should be the heart. Anyway, we are going to do this part. I'm an idiot. I drew the holes obviously in the center, but they're to final size and these need to be cams. They cannot be concentric. They need to be egg shaped, not egg shaped, uh, whatever. The hole needs to be off center, but I didn't do that. So yeah, so we make it uh, instead of 50 millimeters, we are going to make 40 millimeters. So the late came with this chuck over here. And uh, I'm not using it because, well, it's pretty massive. If we run it slow, maybe it's gonna be okay. Maybe for machinists, this is obvious, a thing. If we retract the jaws completely, see, it cannot go anymore. Now we can adjust the jaws somehow, for some weird reason. Um, so, then, of center very weird and I put it backwards so let's give this a go By the way, if you ever wondered how a real medieval carriage sounds like, well, I'm just gonna give you a small taste sample and you'll be the judge. Okay, so now I need to figure out, this will go uh, like that. Uh, these need to be opposite ends of each other. So I want to somehow key them in. Next part of the build is the handle Manuela type thing. It's this part right here. We don't need to be too close to the books with this one, whatever that means. So let's funk it up. So basic shape is finished, uh, but obviously we're not finished just yet. Okay, I, I don't know if it's a good idea 
<laughs> but we're going to do it anyways. Yeah. What about the tempo? I'm not sure why I didn't record making this knob, but uh, I didn't, so oh, here's the pouting procedure. Okay, so I'm gonna try to uh, demonstrate how the cam system is going to work. I have the cams here with the lever, which is now in the drill because it makes things easier. And we have the cam follower, which is going to be on top like that. And uh, let's just see what happens. What's happening to my drill? Now this is going to be a channel first, but I'm waiting for some 3D printed objects to arrive. More on that later. Anyway, for the time being, I'm going to make the test dummy, which is a silicone mold of a nose. I could have used my own nose. I think a silicone nose dummy would be more scientific. Yes, uh, you heard me right. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm actually carving already the negative. I cannot be bothered to carve the positive and then cast the negative uh, to only later cast the positive once again. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do the negative from the get-go, we'll see how that goes. Da -da -da -da. Welcome to, wait, da -da -da -da. welcome to, to, to cooking with Tuckman. Today's recipe, we're gonna make some whew, silicone noses and gloves. I know what I'm doing. Mold is ready. You got your nose mold. Uh, It was at this point that Uri realized there were way too many bubbles in the nose. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god, this is actually... <laughs> yes, that's actually looking great. So let's try this again. I decided to purchase a pressure chamber to get all the bubbles out. This silicone is supposed to be transparent although I highly doubt that, but anyway, I want to get a slightly better and nicer result. Silicon is bubble, bubble less. So, what do you think? Did I, uh, did I get the resemblance? I mean, I could have just molded my own nose, but uh, I don't, I don't like putting stuff on my nose. Don't take that out of context. Or do you? Imagine you're sitting in a nice coffee place, picking your own delicious nose, and then you realize someone else's finger is up your nostrils. That's not a good feeling, isn't it? NordVPN is going to help shoo away those nose pickers such as cyber criminals, hackers, malicious websites and many other online threats. As a content creator myself, I've been using NordVPN for a couple of years now and it really helps me feel much more secure in any sort of network, whether it's home Wi-Fi, public hotspots or cellular network. NordVPN's encryption ensures a safe and private browsing. 
NordVPN also hides your IP, which means that you can be anywhere at any time. I recently visited my parents where I got hooked on this beautiful Korean soap opera, only to realize that when I traveled back home, the show was gone, which was confusing to me at the time. So with just a couple of clicks, I changed my virtual location back to my parents' place where I could continue watching safely and securely my beautiful show as if nothing happened. I highly recommend checking them out. Click the link below or go to nordvpn.com slash Uri Tuckman and get a two-year plan with four months extra. It's risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Let's get back to the video. Yeah. So, uh... The prints got uh, printed by a friend of mine with a 3D, 3D printer. So you're probably wondering to yourself, what prints are you talking about? Behold your eyes. So unfortunately, all the 20 hours or so recording the modeling process of this sculpture got lost to the universe and therefore here's a little bit of an extra modeling shenanigans. and we have the two halves of the figure. We'll put this aside, we're not gonna do that yet. Uh, we have the uh, leg legs of the mechanism, we'll get to that also in a sec. Uh, and then the finger itself, which uh, as you can see, one piece is missing. So I'm gonna try to make it myself. So this material here that I'm cutting is called a Sika block, if I'm not mistaken. This is some sort of prototyping and molding material for industrial purposes, I don't know. Anyway, it's some sort of this foamy, very hard, plasticky kind of thing. Somewhat similar to wood, though it doesn't have a grain, it's only porous. I don't love working with this material as it's super dusty and uh, gnarly. But I think it's going to give some nice results. Yeah, that looks pretty good, right? Oops. We can cast it and if we need some cleanup, we'll do it after the casting, I suppose. Would this be the best way to do it? Or this, I guess, would be the best. Da, 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 da. Welcome to cooking with the... <laughs> uh -oh. Whoops. Whoops, not for the camera. There we have it, we have our mold. See you in the next video. I'm kidding, I'm going to see you tomorrow. My tomorrow. Yo, it's gonna be... Ah, sweet hallelujah. What I've got is a... Oh, by the way, we are going to cast it in tin. So it's nice and easy to do in the shop, not no dan not too much danger, I suppose. <laughs> We're gonna use it a very cheap IKEA induction hub. We're good to go.
<laughs> okay, I think we should do everything again. Okay, so here we go. We have all the castings and they look absolutely beautiful. Uh, these are all the feet. We're gonna put this aside and concentrate on these. Uh, yeah. Okay, now that we got our Jewishness out of the way, we can start working on the base of the entire mechanism, starting with a nice piece of maple that uh, is going to be the base. Did I say that already? We're going to put some shellac on it. After that, we're going to move on to the brass plates that holds uh, the whole mechanism together. And uh, yeah, yeah, that will be uh, very, very, very nice. You know, I'm supposed to do some commentary, but I, I don't know what to say about this. It's like pretty, you know, I'm cutting wood, cutting metal and brass. And uh, yeah, and then we put the feet and stuff. When I was 17, it was a very good year. It was a very good year for summer breaks. I don't know what way. So unfortunately, the woman's figure um, is not gonna cut it. So I've decided I would order from a professional company, so to speak, and see how that goes. Okay, so uh, we have the new prints. Have a look at this weird thing. The model came inside this cage, which doesn't seem to have any doors or anything. Which like, why spend the extra material? I mean, I guess to protect the model, but like, first of all, how did they do that? Did they print the cage with the model? Blech. Okay, it's still hot.
<laughs> yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, before we test it out on the nostril, there is quite a lot of space here for, uh, for something. And that something is, well, let's just build it and you'll see. So, the project is finished and uh, I've, uh, you might have seen that I made some brass pulleys but they didn't work, they were too slippery. I tried my luck and used aluminium pulleys and uh, made some different profiles and I think we got this working, so... <laughs> Okay, just like come down. Here we go. We have contact. For YouTube, I'm gonna test it on my own nose. Screw the test dummy. Then I have the nose right here and I'm willing to put tin inside it. I hope there's no lead in this tin. Shouldn't be, but Oh my god, it actually works! I'm just... yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're happy? <laughs> this actually, in the three milliseconds it was in my nose, it really went down there. So I would call this a, a big success. So from the test dummy mold, the nose mold, I have made also a metal casting because why not, of course. This goes to one of my Patreons, which uh, the winner was already chosen, uh, and I'm going to send this very soon to his delight. I don't know what he would do with this, but whatever. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Macaroni and Cheese with Uri Tuckman. I don't know. <laughs>